NDPS Act uh, drafting error its implications and an amendment. The 2021 bill amends the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances 1985 and seeks to rectify a drafting anomaly created via 2014 amendment to the parent legislation. The Narcotics Drug and Psychotropic Substance Amendment Bill 2021 was passed by Lok Sabha on Monday. The unusual amendment essentially just a sentence that alters numbering of the provisions was passed amid criticism by the opposition. What is the amendment? A 2021 bill amends the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act 1985 and seeks to rectify a drafting anomaly created by a 2014 amendment to the parent legislation. The 2021 amendment contains a legislative declaration about what one section refers to. It says section 2 clause 8a corresponds to clause 8b in section 27 since 2014 when the provision was first brought in. Section 27A of the NDPS Act 1985 prescribes the punishment for financing illicit traffic and harboring offenders. What is the 2014 amendment? In 2014, a substantial amendment was made to the NDPS Act to allow for better medical access to narcotic drugs. In Section 27A, the amendment defined amendment defined essential drugs under Section 9. It allowed the manufacturers possession, transportation, import, interstate, export, interstate, sale, purchase, consumption and use of essential narcotic drugs. But before the 2014 amendment, a section 28A already existed and contained a catalogue of offences for which the punishment is prescribed in section 27A. Section 27A reads, whoever indulges in financing directly or indirectly any of the activities specified in sub clauses 1 to 5 of clause 8A section 2 or harbors any person engaged in any of the aforementioned activities shall be punishable with rigorous imprisonment for a term which shall not be less than 10 years but which may extend to 20 years and shall also be liable to fine which shall not be less than 1 lakh rupees but which may extend to 2 lakh rupees provided that the court may for reasons to be recorded in the judgment impose a fine exceeding 2 lakh rupees. What was the drafting anomaly? While defining essential drugs in 2014, the legislation renumbered section 2. The catalogue of offences originally listed under section 2 8A was now under section 2 7B. The amendment section 2 8A defined essential narcotic drugs. However, the drafters missed amending the enabling provision of section 27A to change section 2 7a to section 27b what was the result of the drafting error section 27a punished the offenses mentioned under section 28a sub clause 1 to 5 however section 28a sub clauses 1 to 5 which were supposed to be the catalog of offenses does not exist after the 2014 amendment it is now section 28b the error in the text meant since 2014 section 27a was inoperable what was the result of the drafting error? Section 27A punished offences mentioned under Section 28A sub clause 1 to 5. However, Section 27A sub clauses 1 to 5, which were supposed to be the catalogue of offences, does not exist after the 2014 amendment. It is now Section 27B. The error in the text meant since 2014, Section 27A was inoperable. When was the error noticed? The error was noticed by a district judge in West Agartala. In June this year, the Tripura High Court, while hearing a reference made by the district court, flagged the drafting error, urging the centre to bring an amendment and rectify it. In 2016, an accused had shot bail before a special judge in West Tripura in Agartala, citing the omission in drafting. The accused plea was there that since Section 27A penalized a blank list, he could not be charged under the offense. The district judge then referred to the legal question to the High Court. The government had argued that the drafting error cannot be ground to seek bail and must be overlooked. Uh, and, uh, although the High Court agreed with the government and read the provision the way it was intended and not the way it was drafted, it said the reading could not be applied retrospectively. Why cannot it be applied retrospectively? 
why can't it be applied retrospectively article 21 of the constitution says that no person shall be convicted of any offenses except for the violation of the law in force at the time of the commission of the act charged as an offense nor be subjected to a penalty greater than what which might have inflicted under the law in force at the time of commission of the offence. The protection means that a person cannot be prosecuted for an offence that was not a crime under the law when it was committed. Thus, the latest amendment make it re retrospective. In September, the government brought in an ordinance to rectify the drafting error, which Lok Sabha, it shall be deemed to have come into force on the first day of May 2014. During the discussion in Lok Sabha, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaram said, Retrospective application is permitted in classificatory amendment. It is not substantive, that is why retrospective is allowed, she said. She said the government had sought the opinion of Solicitor General Tusar Mehta's opinion before introducing the amendment. What has the opposition said? Can a substantive st sentencing provision in criminal law be given retrospective effect by a legislative declaration? That's something the bill does not address. Congress leader Manish Tiwari said in the discussion on the bill. The BJD leader B. Mahatav said the retrospective nature of the amendment will be challenged in court. When it was accepted, it was a mistake. Why commit another mistake by making it retrospective? How can the penal provision be passed retrospectively? It will lead to more constitutional questions, he said. Thank you.